Hi, this is Dan with Service Photo, back with another Photo Basics. Today we're going to be talking about shutter speed. Shutter speed is the term for how long we let light come into the camera. Shutter speed doesn't just control whether the image gets brighter or darker, it also controls motion blur in your images. If you're trying to capture faster moving objects, like a race car, you're going to want to use a faster shutter speed, like 1 over 2000. If you're trying to get a blurring effect for waterfalls, water in general, or natural events, you're going to want to go with something like 1 over 30. Today we'll be showing you how this works with a child's spinning toy and a Nikon Z8. For our demonstration, all I'm going to be doing is allowing the spinner to spin down the toy. first photo is at one fourth and you can really see the spinner is not only giving us rotational blur but also linear blur as it moves down the toy. Then we're moving up to 1 30th where we're getting less of the linear motion blur but we're still getting some of that rotational blur. At 1 25th we've stopped the linear blur but we're still getting rotational blur. And at 1 over 2 50th, we're still getting a little bit of rotational blur, but we've definitely stopped all of the motion blur. Our last photo is 1 over 4,000, where we've stopped the action completely. Now, that might be what you want. Maybe you want a little bit of blur. Changing these settings is how you find a way to make your pictures. As you can see from the shots we've just provided, Shutter speed can affect your images in multitudes of different ways. Go ahead and play with these settings. Learn what you like to do. Find your settings you like so you can find your style and make images you want to make. This is Dan with Service Photo and this is another Photo Basics.